What is going on everybody? A big thank you to everyone who clicked on the video. I greatly appreciate that as always. So today I want to hopefully answer a question some of you might have had. I know it's one I've had and part of the reason why I'm making this video. And that is, can you play fake Pokemon games slash ROM hacks on the Super Game Boy for the SNES? So I figured I'd try some of these Pokemon games here and see if we can get them to run on the Super Game Boy. Now, it is worth noting that the original Super Game Boy here doesn't work with every single Game Boy game. I believe pretty much anything exclusive to the Game Boy Color won't work on this original Super Game Boy. So, for example, we can assume that Pokemon Crystal Clear will not work since it is, of course, a ROM hack of Crystal version. The rest of these games might be hit or miss. You know, you don't always know the quality of the game you have when it comes to these kinds of fakes. Generally, they get a bad reputation. I've had nothing but good experiences when it comes to these kinds of games. So hopefully I can shed some light and answer some questions and let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so first up, I figured we would start with green. It's probably the most normal of all of these games, you know? Maybe more of a reproduction than the ROM hack, but either way, this is good. It looks like we've got the green border popping up. I like the way that looks. That actually looks really nice. Now, I've not actually done a video on green before, but I've definitely talked about it a few times. Um, I think I got this at a flea market probably like two, maybe even three years ago, and you know, the game the game works great. You know, it's, it's visually a pretty glitchy game. You know, I heard green is probably a pretty bad translated cart, but it does everything it's supposed to. You know, I think it's maybe my second or third profile on it, and everything works just fine, but we're getting it on here, and that's obviously a plus. So yeah, I guess you can change the filter or color. I'm not really sure what we'd call that, but you can do that and it looks, I'm not even sure which one looks better. I'll probably flick through that a few times. Um, but this looks like a success. I don't know. Green, this glitchy green seems to be working, you know? It's not as cool as playing on like the stadium, you know, you get like the Do Duo and Do Drio speed, but this is a pretty close second, you know? It's not bad. And if any of you haven't played Green, I definitely recommend it. You know, it is just the original Gen 1 games, but arguably worse looking. But I don't, in my opinion, the Green really makes it pop. It's super fun. You know, it is what it is. You know, don't let any of the glitches you see here dissuade you from playing it. There's probably better ROM hacks out there of it. This is a flea market buy after all. You, know, you get what you get. But either way, on to the next. All right, now we got brown version. Oof, brown is just so nostalgic for me. It is the first ROM hack I actually ever played. You know, it thrusted me into the world of ROM hacks. I didn't even know what they were. I came across this when I was who knows how little, and it was awesome. I, I didn't even get that far into it. I maybe beat the first gym, but it just, it opened my eyes. Very nostalgic. Back before there was like all the, the new stuff. I don't know what all they had in there back then, but I know there wasn't Sylveon, so that was a, a much needed addition, but yeah, this game's awesome. It's like the the Rajon region. I still don't know if I'm even saying that right, but you know, it's kind of like this cross blend game. You know, there's a lot of new stuff in there, but it keeps it very old school. Just a super super fun game. And unfortunately, I think I'm in like the haunted forest right now, so a lot of missing that stuff. I can't even get into a real fight right now. But regardless, this is a phenomenal looking game. I mean, you can kind of see some of the new sprites here a little bit and. Super fun story. It's simple. It's fun, and it branches off. I think this is yeah. This is like the sequel or the prequel, sorry, to Prism, which is also a very very popular game as well. So, yeah, I mean everything's working on here. I'm glad to see that this is happening. So, let's go ahead and keep going. All right. So moving on here, we've now got with the nice gold border. I might add, uh, we've got Pokemon Bronze, which is of course a ROM hack of Pokemon Gold. Sort of a hidden gem in my opinion, kind of flew under my radar. I'm a big Gen 2 guy, so... Oh, and... Okay, so we've got a little bit of a bar across the screen. That is definitely not normally there, at least not when you play the Game Boy. I'm not really sure what that is, but we'll go ahead. We'll, we'll keep going on with the game. We'll keep checking it out. We'll see if there's anything wrong with it, because it is loading. That's what matters, is it's loading, but... Uh, yeah, it kind of flew under my radar, you know, similar to brown version, it has a few new additions into it. So we've got, of course, like Archeops, I remember, and then there was the new fake mon, but they added Plum Bloom, didn't evolve, sort of just replaced Dunsparce in the Pokédex. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of a, a new story, new region. I also forgot the name of the region, it's killing me, but it, it's definitely a low-key hack. You know, like I said, I had never heard of it. It's very, very simple, so I don't think it got a ton of attention, but... Frico, I'm pretty sure, was the person who made it. 
very, very underrated pack. You guys should definitely check this out if you have not played it before, you know? Especially if you're a Gen 2 guy like myself, it's my favorite region. Certainly not the best, obviously, but it's just the funnest in my opinion. These graphics, this art style, it's, it's, it's my home for me, so definitely check this out. Alright, and now we've got Pokemon Orange version, or I, I guess Orange Island Adventures. I'm not really sure the official name on that, but I'm going to go with Orange Island Adventures. I think that is the proper one. And I guess this is a hack of blue version, I wasn't entirely sure on that, but judging by the blue border here, I think we're safe to assume that's what it is. Uh, so I actually can't really say too much on Pokemon Orange, I just got this pretty recently, I actually haven't really dove into it at all. I haven't really had time yet, but I'm definitely working on that next, so I can't really say too much about the game, but I, I definitely wanted to see that I could actually get it to work on the Super Game Boy, and thankfully it does. I'm looking forward to playing this on here, at least in my off time, it's definitely a fun way to play. Uh, but yeah, I, I can't really say too much. I know that there's multiple Orange Islands out there. You know, there's a, a Game Boy Advance one, and I think there's possibly one or two on the Game Boy slash Game Boy Color. Maybe they're just versions of each other, but I've definitely seen a crystal variant of, of Orange out there, but that's not what this is, so... Yeah, I just wanted to show that this could be played. I, I'm definitely making a video on this very soon, but yeah. It works! That's what matters, right? Okay, and lastly, I figured I'd go ahead and include it, but this is, of course, what happens when we put in Crystal Clear version. We obviously hit with this screen as it doesn't work. I, I figured that would probably happen. So yeah, any of those Crystal games, any of the color exclusive games, they're not going to work on this. But I figured I'd go ahead and show it since I brought the game up anyways. All right, that is going to bring us to the end of the video, everyone. Overall, I'd say that this was a relative success, you know, we were trying to see if we could get these fake slash ROM hack games to work on the original Super Game Boy here, and other than Crystal Clear, they all worked great, you know. We kind of expected Crystal Clear to not work, these Game Boy Color exclusive games are not supposed to work on the Super Game Boy, but I figured we'd give it a shot just in case. And then of course there was Bronze version which did have that strange bar across the title screen there. Not really sure what that was about. I went ahead and tested it on a Game Boy again. It's not there, so I, I don't really know exactly what that was about, but the rest of the game worked just fine. I didn't have any weird, strange occurrences while playing Bronze other than that title screen. And honestly, I was a little surprised Green worked. You know, I bought that from a flea market. And with when it comes to these fake games, especially when you're buying from like a flea market or someone you just don't know or trust, you know, the quality of the game is in question, of course. So I can't vouch for every game out there if it's going to work on the Super Game Boy, but generally speaking, I'm going to safely say that most, if not all, ROM hacks are probably going to work on the Super Game Boy. So if you guys have any other questions, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or leave a comment down below and I will do my best to answer that. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.